Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today we're gonna to show you how to draw a shovel, a spade shovel. It's the most traditional type of shovel that is out there. And it's typically used for things like gardening and digging and soil turning and backyard work and stuff like that. Um, if you're not sure, it's typically, uh, it has a long handle and it has a spade over here that goes like that. So that's what we're gonna draw. I'll draw it over here. So the first thing you wanna do is draw the uh, the handle and it's typically a straight let's make sure this is nice and straight straight up and down we'll uh, yeah we'll do like that okay. you know if you really want you can also just grab a ruler and just draw two nice straight lines as well it helps um, keep that nice and straight because in real life the handle of the shovel is actually perfectly straight. It might have a, tip to a bit of curvature but um, for the most part it's pretty straight. We'll come back to that. What you need to know is that at this point um, the shovel basically has a 90 degree. Over here is a 90 degree piece and it's basically the top of the spade. So if we take this over here and we draw one two so those two lines going out are going to be the top of the spade we're typically going to bring that back down like this okay the question is how do we do that how do we draw this nice looking spade and make it proportionate and make it look nice and neat and and uh, like a real shovel if you will uh, so typically the top is made out of wood and it goes this would continue much much longer of course right um, to connect the wood with the metal spade there's typically going to be a piece over here that is uh, that is round in nature let's draw it uh, let's draw it this way okay this piece is typically made out of metal and it is either the same material or fa a fastener to this metal spade so you have wood up here and you have a metal spade down below. Um, when you do that, this piece actually tends to continue down and it kind of gets embedded into this. So think of this as one giant metal piece. Um, this continues like that, okay? Yeah, there's different types of shovels out there as well, but uh, this is kind of one type that I'm going to be drawing. What I would say to really help the drawing of a spade shovel is these two lines should really be the same distance apart. So if you start over here and you do, we'll say, let's say we do um, three and a half centimeters. We'll draw a line right at three and a half and we'll do the same over here right at three and a half. In doing so, it really keeps um, a nice symmetrical shape to the shovel. And that's really what we want to do when we're drawing the spade. Now there's different types of spades. You can kind of go like short spade. Um, there's edging uh, shovels as well. This one is actually going to be a longer spade. So we're actually going to come uh, down quite a bit. And then uh, once we come down, we'll curve. Actually, we'll continue a little more and we'll curve like that. Again, over here, we're going to go straight down and uh, start to curve. Okay. So the trick is straight over here and then start the process of curving that spade. This should be right in the center. Okay. That's, that's looking really, really good. Um, this needs a little more curvature on the side. Where this starts curving, you want it to start curving on the other side as well. So it's good to keep an eye on that. And there's certainly nothing wrong with just kind of redrawing or, or just uh, continuing to kind of touch up and erase, nothing wrong with that as well.
there is typically a point, although it's not as pronounced as a strong point, but there is a, a center point that's always the center of the shovel as well. So keep that in mind. Um, I'll probably just touch this up just a bit more. There we go. Okay, so that's the framework of the shovel. What I would say is I would also just eliminate the interior lines over here, um, keeping the exterior. And I don't mind using the ruler as well just to um, help emphasize that. Nice. We'll do shading after. Probably clean this side up just a touch. Just a touch. There, that's a lot better. Notice how that just comes a little bit outside of the wood uh, handle as well. Great. So basically we have the spade, we have the shovel, this continues up. Um, the part up here will typically and, and oftentimes have a little bit of a piece that kind of sticks out like that. If you ever had to dig or shovel, um, there's a piece that you can kind of step on with your foot. So instead of stepping on a, a single piece of metal, there's a little fold that allows you to kind of not hurt your foot. Kind of like that. Okay. All right. So the best way to shade this is using something like the 7B. The 7B is really good because you can um, draw some curvature to the handle over here. Just kind of go up and down on that. Same on the metal part. We'll put some shading. Typically we'll just, as if we're looking at this straight on, we'll put some shadows on each side. So a little bit of shadowing on each side will give us a nice 3D effect and always just kind of touch up some of your lines if you need to as well. Okay, so aside from that, the metal is probably gonna be, if it's a new shovel, somewhat shiny. So what I would say is, it's always good to kind of um, just create some shadows around the outsides. And this is a great way to do it. Just go like this. And what we'll do is we'll go darker on the outsides. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same over here. Darker on the outsides, right up to the top. Okay, let's pull this all together.
It might take some time to get this smudging to really smooth over, but don't worry, keep at it. If you keep doing this, you'll see that things will look a lot more realistic. And we'll just touch up some of the outer lines that exist as well. Great. Let's touch up the outer lines. It's just something like that would work really well. And actually, let's jump back over here and let's just finish up some of the shading that very lightly, very, very lightly will exist on this metal transition piece. Remember I explained to you that this piece holds the wood into the metal. So if you can just draw a little bit of shading just over there. See that? See how faint that is? You'll see this looks really realistic once we just go one, two, three, four, five. Nice. You want to continue just a little more shading with some of this part over here so be patient follow along you can hopefully you're doing the exact same pause if you need to okay I think the last thing that you want to consider is that um, this metal piece that kind of sits over here, um, this piece here actually protrudes out. So you should really try to draw some level of shading below it. If we can get a little bit of shading below it, you might find it looks really realistic that way. Just like that. All I did was just get a couple lines right below. And I want them to be just a little bit fainter than some of this part over here. So nothing wrong with just re-adjusting uh, some of these lines over there. So in doing so, I might want to also just add a little bit of color up here. Not color, but, you know, shade. And I'll just kind of let this bleed into each other. Notice how that was a little thick on the right side. I think just grabbing an eraser and just cleaning it up is a really, really good idea. So um, let's do that. Nice. Let's just finish this up by smudging it out just a little bit. We'll probably wrap up this drawing. We'll let you do some practicing. Maybe watch some of our other videos. Did you know we have over a thousand videos on the channel? It's been about two years we've been drawing, posting videos. It's kind of wild how time flies. If there's anything you ever want to learn to draw, just search on our channel and you'll most likely find something there. I'm sure you will.
I try to post every day. You never know what's going to happen so uh, in this world. So lately we haven't been posting every day, but uh, we try. So definitely stay tuned. I think you'll really enjoy it. You'll really enjoy what we have to offer you here. So this is pretty much it. I think the best thing too is just to erase some of the outer smudging that kind of occurs. Just over there and just over here. probably just finish up by just re reinforcing that outline that exists right on the outer part. If we assume this is a brand new shovel, we might want to really be sure about our lines over there and over here. Let us know how it went. Did this work for you? Did you have any trouble? Um, have, you, have you drawn a shovel before? These are the things that we wonder, you know, when we're drawing for you, we're wondering how it's going for you. Are you having any trouble? Was this an easy one for you? Was it more enjoyable? Was it more trouble? These are the things that we wonder. So, you know, let us know. I noticed that this was kind of smudging a little too much. So I went back and just corrected that as well. All right, I promise I'm gonna stop poking around up here and just wrap this up for you. Try to do a couple more drawings today. Just use the ruler to get that final line in there. Yeah, you can see how nice that looks. All right, on that note, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments how it went for you. How did you do? Did you enjoy it? Again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.